Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for this quick video. I just wanted to go over a feature uh, called the Audience Pleaser. It's a patent pending method of using audience statistics um, to uh, help program the music um, using the Nextcast um, radio automation software pro version. And I'm gonna show you um, the basic components of how to use that um, to the um, betterment of your station and to cr increase your um, internet radio audience. So the first thing to notice is that you can manually set your audience pleaser value here. Word of caution, I will suggest that you need at least 10 to 20 concurrent listeners at all time for this to work properly. Um, it uses the laws of averages that uh, people tune in and tune out based on different factors. And we've been testing it over the last uh, seven years and found that there's consistency. It will consistently tell you which songs an audience likes and which songs an audience does not like. But again, uh, it requires at least 10 to 20 consistent listeners at all times. Um, you can manually set the audience pleaser here. Um, I recommend you keep it between zero and 10%. Anything above that, um, I would say is experimental, but the, the scale does go up to 100. But again, um, I choose to um, stay between zero and 10%. So um, let me just show you what the statistics, um, what statistics are used. So whenever you click on a track, you'll notice down here, um, there's the tune out count, the play count, and the tune out percentage. Now the tune out percentage, a negative number is a good number, and a positive number is a bad number. Of course, we also have the last time it played. So you can kind of look through here and you'll see once I click on tracks, uh, the, clacks, the tracks that aren't doing too well, like this one has a tune out percentage of 486. Uh, that tells me that people definitely are tuning out. Uh, obviously, it's only played seven times. So um, depending on the play count, you want to give it a little bit more chance um, to, to get averaged out. But again, generally over the seven years we've tested this process, we've seen that um, the laws of averages work in our favor. And um, yeah. So that's going to help you. So that's basically just in the GUI of Nextcast. Uh, you're able to see that any, even if you don't have audience pleaser on, you will be able to see the um, audience pleaser numbers or at least what the audience pleaser uses to determine um, whether it's going to play the track or not. So if you're running in rotation mode or even in playlist mode, um, the way audience pleaser works is if I set it, let's say, to 5%, Nextcast will not pick a song that has lower than a 5% tune-out ra ratio. So now you can make this flexible too, and this is where it gets really cool because it works almost as a uh, song resting, where it will rest some of your songs uh, based on whether the song is popular or not, or whether it's being tuned out or not. So if you go here into the schedule, I press the schedule button, and then here where it says schedule mode, I click once, and you'll see this is my um, audience pleaser schedule. And so what I'm doing here is, uh, I'm actually alternating, and again, it's gonna be up to you how you use this, but basically um, I set it that 2%, which means any song that has a high tune out percentage will not get played here on this hour, and then I turn it off and I turn it on again, the flexibility is there for you to do and the way you set it you just click on the hour and then you get this little graph and then I mean this little slider and then you can just set it and so what's cool about that is it's going to alternate and work back and forth in this particular uh, scenario you can also schedule it for every hour so making sure that a song that's not popular never gets played during that time. And again, maybe on the overnight hours, you turn it off to give that song a chance uh, to come back. So um, that's how you schedule it. And I'm gonna, the last part I'm gonna show you is here under uh, view statistics. So I can go over here on view statistics and I can go, um, I'll go to my new music and I'm gonna process it. And the cool thing about this here is it tells me um, basically on a scale 
of you know most popular to least popular what the audience thinks of a particular song and so you can see here on my top songs i have negative 29 tune outs the tune out ratio is negative 414 percent and you can see the green indicates that the song is being liked by an audience and then if you'll notice any song below here that has a above um, a positive average tune out average will not um, be played if the audience pleasers on to a certain value so um, that makes it easier to when you're um, like for instance a top 40 scenario when you need to move music often and quickly you can quickly see when a song becomes less popular and um, you can take it out of rotation. So there you go, a quick explanation of our patent pending unique audience pleaser feature in Nextcast um, Radio Automation Pro version.